Hey everyone, Kelvin here and welcome to the Kelby Picks monthly update for the month of July. It was a very interesting month and I can't wait to share it with you, so let's hop right in. So I started off the month with a very interesting assignment. Shamika Natoya of Fashion Meets Foodie approached me with a concept for her brand that was unlike anything that I'd ever done before and it involved fruits, vegetables, and fashion. So you can only imagine what we came up with. Now, like I said, her blog is focused around fashion and food, but she has a specific focus on veganism. So we wanted to make sure that that was clear uh, and incorporated throughout the entire shoot. So I think we did a great job of doing that. And I think we've got some great images that are gonna help you with the launch of your brand. So congratulations, Shamika, and I look forward to working with you in the future. This month, I was also hired by Zen and Tonics, which is a skin, hair, and lifestyle brand, and they needed images for marketing and for their website, so they brought me on and told me about a concept that they had that basically involved uh, shooting a model at a plant nursery just outside of Washington, D.C., which is exactly what we did, and we got some gorgeous photos. We had Armanda, a.k.a. Glow Princess. Go check her out on Instagram. She's killing the game with all of that melanin. We see you, girl. But no, we, we went out there, I, I got some beautiful shots, and it was amazing, as usual. So, um, shout out to Zen and Tonics. I'm looking forward to working with you guys more in the future. Now I'd like to acknowledge all of my headshot and portrait clients for the month of July. Each of you came in with your own energy and vitality and creativity, and all those things really help add to the impactfulness of the images that I create. So a lot of people like to give me credit, but really I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you and keep on coming back. During the month of July, I took a couple of trips up to New York for various assignments. And the first time I was up was for Curlfest and that was held in Brooklyn. So I was out there taking some, some street style portraits for a brand and I was also uh, doing some fashion blog work for a another brand, Nakira of the Nakira Show. Shout out to Nakira. Um, yeah, it was out there, it was thousands of people, it was hot, it was crazy, it was fun, it was exhausting. Uh, but at the end of the day, I got the shots and that's what I was there for. So the second time I was in New York, I was actually in Harlem to take photos for a clothing brand called Trap Genius. And Trap actually stands for taking risk and applying pressure. So was there in the city taking photos of a few models that they had. We did some in studio and then we actually did some on location. Um, and as a matter of fact, one of the locations we shot at was in a bodega which is cool because I've never really shot in a bodega before. And a matter of fact, I'm still trying to figure out why they call them bodegas. I'm from the South and we just call them convenience stores. But anyway, uh, did some shoots in bodegas, on the street, in the studio. And we also uh, did a shoot at a, at a tattoo parlor. We're actually in the backyard of a tattoo parlor because one of the models that was shooting with the brand uh, is actually Sassy, who some of you may have seen on some of the earlier uh, seasons of Black Ink. So that was pretty cool just to be out there and, and working with her. And shout out to Sassy, you did your thing, girl. Uh, looking forward to working with you again. Anyway, uh, we got out there, did our thing, got some great photos, and I'll be sharing those with you guys shortly. So yeah, that was uh, my two trips to New York. and. I always love that city. Anytime I can go there, I'm, I'm all about it. So I wrapped up the month working on a personal project that I've actually been working on for about a year now. It's titled Face Naked. And basically I have women come into the studio free of any makeup or enhancements and, and I photograph them. And it's been a pretty interesting experience to, to have people come to me in that vulnerable state and, and be photographed. So, uh, more to come on that. I've got a lot of things in the works with this project and as a matter of fact I'll be in LA next month working on the project. I'll be in Miami in September working on it and yeah just stay on the lookout and, and remember the name Face Naked because you're going to be hearing a lot more about it. All right that wraps up the monthly update for the month of July. It was an awesome month. I worked with some great people, created some dope work and now it's time for a vacation man. I got to get up out of here because I gotta go pack, I'm going to Mexico, I'm gonna be out there for a little while, just relaxing on the beach, catching a tan. So the next update you see, I'm gonna be a little bit darker, I'm gonna be a little bit more relaxed, and I'm gonna be ready to create. So, all right y'all, y'all be safe, 
and I'll see y'all after Mexico. Oh wait, um, don't forget, if you need photos, if you are a photographer and you're looking for coaching to get better, if you're looking at ways to, to make more money in photography, or if you are someone who needs photos for your brand, as always, I am here for you. So, all right guys, take it easy.